Uh, so you ready for the six pack? Let's shoot it. Uh, are you betting uh, Army Navy at all? I'll tell you who I think is going to win, but no, I'm not touching it. Actually, the best bet, and this has happened like 21 straight times when they play, take the under. The under is always what happens um, in that game. So that would be my – I tell you what, that's my bet of the week for college football. Take the under in the game, but hoorah. I think the Navy – I think Navy's definitely going to – no, I think – I think uh, I'm sorry, not hoorah. Army. Army's going to beat Navy. But, yeah, Army's uh, going to dog walk Navy. Yeah, but the under is going to happen too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're the they're the two of the few teams in the country who practice against that bullshit offense every day. I think I'd rather watch paint and dry than watch that game. Well, Joe Biden's gonna want to catch Z's because I just <laughs> think he's gonna be there, and so you know. Hey, like, what'd you rather do? Catch a Biden speech or uh, an Army Navy game? <laughs> I think I'd just rather go to sleep, man. There's a lot of better <laughs> things I can do with my time. Um, you know, both are going to be bullshit, but you know, <laughs> it's whatever. Um, <laughs> no, six let, pack, man. yeah, let's get into this six pack. Um, we did pretty well last week, four and two. Um, Bills fucked us up there at the end, and what was the other one? The other one was a close one, too. I think it was Minnesota money line, so I lost, you know, yeah, one that's right. in that game, but nonetheless, uh, we got a really hot six pack here, so we'll get it started off with uh. The one upset pick that I have on here, and I was a little surprised when I saw the odds. We got the Baltimore Ravens at the Cleveland Browns. Give me Lamar um, and the Ravens to get a bounce back game. Uh, it's important for them because playoff wise, of course, they keep sliding. I think they have a chance to maybe not because every team is so competitive in that division. But uh, at the same time, now you're piling up division losses to go with it and dropping back to back games like that. Not a good look for the Ravens. And I don't think that either of these teams are really all that good. But uh I like Lamar more than Baker. And so, so you don't you don't trust Baker off of a bye? Um they got the Ravens as a dog here. I'm gonna take the Ravens money line. So let's run with that. Next game. Okay. Um we got the Seahawks at the Hughes. I look like I'm going black. Are we still here? Yeah, you're here. Hold on one second. All right, let's try this again. We got Seahawks at, at who? We got the Seahawks at the Houston Texans. They have the over-under set at 41. Give me the over. Uh, I expect Russ to cook a little bit on this defense, but I also expect the Houston Texans to be able to cook a little bit on the Seahawks. That's not a good defense. And so um, give me the over 41 there. Next game, we got the Giants at the Chargers. Shout-out to Jake Fromm for finally, you know, going to be taking his first start. Dolph giving them to the natty but uh yeah they're at la give me the minus 10 i'm not even gonna buy the half a point to make it to where if it is a 10 point game i think that they're gonna get steamed um give me herbert and them to carry the momentum from beating the Bengals and bringing it back to la and being hot with it against the giants team that just quite frankly isn't very good there was something on uh them i was listening to jim rome where they broke down them and the jets over the last like five or six years, the Jets winning percentage is like 24 point, you know, 24% of their games. And then the Giants is 26. So that is goes this today. To, huh? Was this today? Just two days ago. Two days and, ago. Okay, I check it out. Yeah. He was just talking about, it. I was just like, Oh my goodness. I was like, I was like, you know, I didn't realize how bad the Giants really were because they had these talented players, but they're really not good. And so, um, uh, Daniel Jones is just keeping that seat hot for us. And I think oh, we- hey, hey, speaking of Rome, he gave uh, Herb the business today. I haven't listened yet, but uh, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm got smacked by the Rams. Probably. I, I don't, anytime Rome is talking, he just talking, hates Urban Meyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anytime he talks Urban Meyer, he has my ear. It's literally the Space Jams get that guy a tennis racket, like get that nigga back in college. That's kind of what he keeps, that's what he's really alluded to. It's like you missed out on all these college jobs. I bet that's kind of what he did, but we'll see. Yeah. But um, yeah, so give me uh, the Chargers minus 10 there um, against the Giants. Next game, I'm going to ride the, the Dan. I was about to say Matt Campbell. Fuck you, Matt Campbell. You cost me 50 grand um, for running up a score. Um, but let me go ahead and get uh, the fighting Dan Campbells at the Denver Broncos, 10 and a half. 
I like to keep the momentum going. They played well against teams this year. Road against a Denver team that, yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing. I expect them to at least stay within 10 points. If not, it'd exactly be 10 points. So I think the 10 and a half is a great bet here. Um, considering they've got that momentum and that, that monkey of a win off their back, you know, now they finally got one. And so I just see this possibly being a letdown spot for Denver to not, you know, kill these guys like they probably should. So we'll go ahead and roll up the Detroit Lions at plus 10 and a half there. Uh, next game, we got Cowboys and Indians, or I'm sorry, we got Cowboys and football teams uh, playing each other this week. Uh, give me Dallas minus four and a half. I like them to come out and, I think that because the offense was semi let down at New Orleans in a division game where they pretty much wrap up the division if they win, I think that they go out there and they smoke the Washington football team the way that the Washington football team should be getting smoked. And, you know, Taylor Heineke, great story. Maybe, he, oh, that's one of the other jobs that's going to be open. But who knows? Maybe, maybe they don't. Maybe they win this game and people start thinking, damn, can we pay Taylor Heineke $20 million a year to be our guy for at least a year, two? We'll see, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Is at minus four and a half. And then for, for my final pick, we've got the week in my opinion, the Bills. How did the Bills respond after a game where they scored 10 points? And it's considering they're, they're in the final wild card. I'm not a punter here, even though I do like the over at over 50. The over under set is going to definitely be in the third. Josh scored 10 points like they did last week. They're going to definitely get to about 27, 28 minimum. Brady and them, we know that they're at home. So give me the over 54. Um, and Let's see. Are you back? Are you back? Yeah, I was here the whole time. Oh, shit. I wouldn't hear you. But we got Bills at Tampa over 54, right? Correct. All right, so let's just go through this thing. We got Baltimore uh, at Cleveland. We're taking Baltimore in the money line. Uh, Seahawks at Texans. We're going to go over 41. Giants at Chargers. We're going to take the Chargers minus 10. Lions at Denver. Now you're gonna take up. The, Oh, shit. We're going to take Lions at plus 10 and a half. Cowboys at Washington football team minus four and a half. And Bills at Tampa. We're going to go over 54. Uh, I hope you could hear all of that. I'm using a shoddy hotel Wi-Fi. I didn't, but I, I'm going to assume it was right. You were listening. <laughs> All right. All right, bet, man. Uh, enjoy your weekend, man. Uh, we're, now we're going out. Peace. Hey, we're done. Sorry, we should just close it out because this thing, it, it does keep, it just keeps going out now. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was doing. You have a good weekend, dog. I'll holler at you.